Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to A Libra's Way. I am going to be doing um, a January monthly tarot scope reading. And this is for air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra in that order. And we will be focusing on a few minutes for each sign just to give a recap or get a little bit of an idea or a scoop on what is to come for you guys. So without further ado, let's get going. However, I will be using my mini tarot deck. I will be using, mm, I want to use the Romance Angels Oracle cards. And I want to use, let's see, Divination of the Ancients. These will be the three that we use for each one. So let's get going and see what Aquarius Gemini and Libra have going on for this month. Okay. January for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus energy that is coming in for this month. Getting to know each other. You might come across somebody new, perhaps at a New Year's party. You might be getting over someone that you recently broke up with. If you were in a relationship or you were seeing somebody, it's time to let them go because it's ready. If you are ready for somebody new, you might get a message from your old person though, trying to rekindle things, but you have to decide if it's right for you as we want to remember that this is Venus in retrograde during uh, January, 2022. So there will be ex-partners coming back from the past. However, with this new person, this does feel promising if you are seeing somebody. Um, it does look like it could actually last for longer than just a few months if you so choose for it too, if this is hitting for you. Let us know, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let us know if this resonates with you. To see if this energy is for you or who it's for. We have the Three of Swords, which again is left, getting left out in the cold. You're getting past a separation. The Five of Pentacles, you're getting past a heartbreak. If you're dealing with the fact that maybe you lost somebody or that someone broke up with you or you broke up with them or you might not have spoken to your family members for a while or close friends and you're separating from that energy, just remember that everything will come in divine timing and the star card is here to remind you of that with Aquarius. So maybe it's meant for you to just do your own thing and be a lone wolf for a little while. And that's totally fine, fine. And you don't need to be validating your energy for anybody else except for you. So if that energy resonates, then great for another group of you. Again, I have that. Let's see. So I do have the four of cups which is symbolizing leaving something behind. Perhaps you're waiting for an offer from a King of Cups, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces that just hasn't arrived yet, that you're hoping will arrive, but they're still, maybe they can't actually do anything because currently they're too busy working or they're out of town. If you're dealing with someone in the military, they might be away for Christmas. They have emotional, they have a cup that they want to offer you. As we can see, each one of these cards, each one of the tarot cards shows a cup, but it doesn't show anything that's been filled. And do you see how the star is also emptying water out? The emotions are being left behind. We have the two of cups that came in reverse for the Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It could be that this relationship that you really thought was going to be something was going to work out. But again... We're closing off those lines of communication in order to rebirth a new cycle, new energy, and a new person. It could also be that if you're not letting go of a King of Cups, you're actually welcoming in a King of Cups. But it feels like the other potential thing is that they're not actually the one for you. It could be that the Emperor is actually the one for you, and they're the one that's supposed to be coming in to make that forward movement. But the Chariot here, we have Cancer, so you could be dealing 
of the Cancer, Sagittarius, Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a fellow Aquarius is what I feel. And again, don't be too hung up on the separation. It is divine timing and it is time for you to move on to your new chapter and to allow love in because if this person not if this person has not come in already this emperor they will be and you need to be ready for it because this was all a test in time now i did just cut the deck in half and then i closed it up but they showed the hanged man and the hanged man is piscean energy this could also be that this emperor comes in or makes a swift bold effort by pisces season which is closer to the end of February after Valentine's Day and into March. February to March is going to be significant potentially for the Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Now we're going to get into a reading for Gemini. Gemini this is your sun, moon, rising, Venus energy. <sighs> January 2022. What does Gemini have in store? Well, that card just shot out completely, so we're taking it. Getting to know each other again. So, could be that you're actually dealing with getting to know somebody, which is very similar to that of the Aquarius energy that we just picked up on. However, we do have soulmate. With soulmate here, it could be that it is your time to shine. So if you're on the cusp of Aquarius, Pisces, or on the cusp of Gemini, I'm sorry, Taurus, Gemini, this could be for you. So this is for Taurus Geminis. For some people, you might be meeting your soulmate in January. Or if you meet somebody new, it could be that you end up developing some sort of a great relationship. And this does feel more romantic than not. And it's actually a very healing relationship. This is somebody who comes in and changes everything for you. They change they change everything you think you know about yourself and about love because of the connection that you guys both share, Gemini. Now, I want to get some tarot. We have the Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. The Ten is the cycle is at the best, highest point. Six of Wands, beautiful. Public recognition. It could be that this person presents you to their friends, their family, because they know that you're the one that they could actually spend the rest of their life with. No more indecisions. Now, it could be also that you are getting some sort of, you might be deciding to pursue a master's program, a doctoral program, uh, proceed with getting a certification of some sort in some Space. This is a great time to do that in January 2022 for the Gemini. We have the Knight of Swords. Now, with the Two of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Knight of Swords, it could be that this person that you previously had seen is gone. You're done with that. You're ready to move on. If you have a job that you're done with, this is time to leave. If Because you're going to be presented with something better that's coming during the month of January. With the Nine of Swords, you've been contemplating this decision for a while, and with the King of Wands, they're coming in to help you and show you, hey, it's time. It's time. Take, turn that frown upside down. <laughs> so cringy and cute, but with the Eight of Wands here, this is a message coming through. It's time to revamp yourself. Put your bandage on and become the warrior that you know you can be, because you have the right energy around you, you have support, healing energy around you, you have emotional fulfillment, and you have people that want to recognize your gifts and your knowledge and your abilities, Gemini. I love this knowledge because it just shows us, it, it reminds us that the Gemini 
is very powerful. This is a time for you to shine. So if you feel like, again, you've been left in the dark or this has been something that's been difficult, new energy is coming in to provide you with that boost that you need. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, is there anything else we need to know for the month of January? Yes. Justice. This is peace. Liberation is what I also heard. So again, could be that there's some level of liberation and freedom that comes with the feeling of knowing that this thing is healed, that the situation is healed. If you're dealing with a divorce, if you're dealing with a separation, it's healed. You've gotten past it. That's your message. Starting off small can sometimes be a beautiful thing in order to get to the Ten of Cups, right? We do need to have little small lessons and small little things occur for us to take things to the next level. Let's do Libra. I hope that this reading resonated with you, Gemini. Um, leave a comment, subscribe, like, and we will be focusing now on our Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venuses. What is coming in for the Libra in January 2022? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, 2022. What is coming in for you guys? Money. Abundance was here. So there's definitely some ability to make a lot of money in January 2022 or to see the returns on investment. And you're attracting that money left and right is what it feels like. There's, It's, it's time to see those rewards on your investment. Now, Libra, one more shuffle and then I will do Romance Angels Oracle cards. True love. January 2022, <clears throat> somebody significant might come back into your life. If they aren't there already, forgiving and learning. Maybe there's a lesson that you needed to learn about leaving some stuff behind. January is all about that. It is about leaving the past behind because we're moving into a new year, right? So there's new energy and we have to let go of that old stuff, the baggage. So maybe you haven't heard from this person for a long time. They're sad. They're sad and they feel sad that you don't feel fulfilled. But that's also because they know that you are their true love and they're your true love in some way, shape, or form. Could also be that if there has been a family issue, this family issue might be resolved through love and through effort. Good luck. Again, we have abundance and we have good luck. So this person might be coming in, they might have money, or it could be that in love you're seeing success. You're seeing success in money because I see gold here. So again, it feels like the money energy is actually surrounding the Libra significantly at this, this month in particular. Meaning if you don't necessarily see the returns, it will be that you make the right investments by this time. The Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is leaving things behind, letting your, letting your sword down. The Chariot, if you're dealing with the Cancerian man, it feels like. If there's a male in your life, it could be that they are letting their swords down. Yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles, so money is about to become super abundant in some way for the Libra, and this is your this is your chance to prepare now because if this there could be a significant amount of money to be made or invested in January that will pay off in the near future. It won't be just the long while, it'll be the near future. Now with the Eight of Cups, this is leaving something behind. This is also leaving opportunities behind that just are not going to be for you with the two of wands here and the queen of cups emotions leaving emotions behind that are just not fulfilling 
holding on to hope for things that maybe you don't need to hope for anymore because they finally get resolved because there is success in them. So there's no more hoping. It's time for you to leave that energy behind because you're seeing you you the chapter has closed for you to be hoping and wishing upon a star right with the hermit this is maybe a virgo comes back into your life it might be that a virgo decides to travel and visit you with the knight of swords this is fast movement so maybe out of nowhere they invite you they they want to see you or they invite you somewhere they've been watching you they've been they've been focusing on their work it's not you if you haven't heard from them. They've just been focusing on their work. They've been focusing on life happening. They're just trying to get theirs the way that you're trying to get yours, you know? Like, they are hustling. They're trying to make things happen for them. Now, at the bottom of the deck, we did have the Four of Swords and Ten of Swords. But at the top, we do have the Page of, Pent of, the Page of Cups, which is a small emotional offer. So it could be that this month is, again, very focused on... Um, producing money, finding money, making money, not losing money, but becoming like the star that you always knew that you would be. So like, it's like maybe you find that one investment or that one thing, that one stock that you're like super hyped about. And it feels like if that's that one stock that you've been thinking about or wanting to like look into, it's like, you might put a little money into it and then it becomes something amazing. Um, and this doesn't feel like a long-term thing. This feels like within a few months. And that energy is going to resonate over time because as we do monthly readings and checkups or check-ins, we will see that energy prevail. Yeah, with the Four of Wands, this is a new relationship. This energy, the foundation is being built so again, the leaving behind, hoping and praying, you're finally seeing the returns on investment in January or by the end of January 2021. 2022, I'm sorry. Um, so Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, I hope that this resonated with you all. Like, comment, share, subscribe if it did. Um, and thanks for tuning in to Libra's Way. I look forward to doing your monthly readings for 2022 or for February 2022 next month so we can prepare accordingly. Have a great rest of your day and see you all soon. Bye everyone.